Hello everybody, good evening, and welcome to another edition of Andar Plays, and tonight we're going to be playing a game called Nordic Ashes. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you. Nordic Ashes is basically one of the games along the lines of um, Vampire Survivor. Uh, it is an action roguelike bullet hell, Vikings in action. Um, it's less of a bullet hell of a game, in that there aren't a lot of bullets flying around. It's more along the lines of uh, Viking hell. Axe Hell, Monster Hell, have what you. You guys can play this game on Steam. The demo is available for a limited, a limited period of time. Um, the release date is set for this year, uh, although the month has not been announced. Um, give it, give it a go. You know, it's a good game. Uh, I believe it's by an indie developer called Knox Fall Studios SL. It's pretty good. Um, I played it a lot. I found it addictive. It does bring a lot of new things to the Vampire Survivors bullet hell genre. Um, it adds a lot of twists and turns, a lovely new skill tree and stuff like that, which I will share with you guys. I'll show you how it goes. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the game. If you guys enjoy it, subscribe to our channel, follow us, um, like the video, join us on Patreon or Twitter. Ninja. Your support is always appreciated. Let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Let's boogie boogie boogie. Okay. So you got settings, um, the settings are pretty good, they let you connect with Twitch as well. I'm not going to change anything over here, I'm going to go ahead and ensure this is quality high, and let's go ahead and play. Um, I've already unlocked a second hero, I played with this guy Axeldor first. To go ahead and start him off, um, let's go. Um, your Viking basically gets two weapons, not at the start, but after you unlock it. When you press tab, you have a beautiful beautifully designed skill tree which allows you to allocate points which you get by killing monsters. Um, on the top left hand side of the screen is the character icon, the hotkeys, um, the number of points that you have, your skill points, uh, the life hearts that you have, the wave indicator in the middle, the kind of enemies that are spawning, the number of kills that you've got. Um, on the bottom right hand side you can see the weapon and its current level and also on the left hand side uh, you can see the XP bar. So let's go kill them. Be careful about how you approach monsters. Do not rush them. You will get hurt. You lose your life. And life is precious in this game. Alright, we leveled up. So I'm going to press tab and allocate my first point, which is to upgrade my niggling. Very good. Now, this game doesn't have conventional bullet hell upgrades like area speed and, you know, weird additions and enhancements to your main weapon and your uh, spell repertoire. What it does have is very interesting skill trees packed with unique skills that add quite a lot of value to your run, I have noticed. Uh, there is no dash, as far as I've seen, nothing special to avoid uh, any of the enemies. So you have to be very careful how you approach enemies, how you play the game. If you get yourself caught in a bad situation without the proper upgrades, you're basically screwed. The game is merciless in that sense, but at the same time it also gives you a very high level of challenge because of that. It doesn't give you any easy way out of your predicaments. Okay, we got five skill points. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. As you keep upgrading, the number of skill points required will increase as indicated in this little arrow over here. There's a little box that says 2p, which is two points needed. I'll go ahead and upgrade damage. Let's upgrade other stuff. We'll get our axe weapon. Um, which is basically like a throwing weapon that automatically activates. We'll get cooldown. Yep, we're good to go. Alright, when you kill a major enemy, you get like a big skill emote, uh, EXP emote. Otherwise, normally you get these tiny little pretty firefly type emotes, uh, EXP emotes, which are very nice. Very nice. Did I say emote? I meant to say motes. Yeah, you get these pretty little motes like firefly, firefly lights. There we go. Pronunciation, boys. Pronunciation. 
Hold on, let me just confirm that in the dictionary. Define notes. Uh, yeah, tiny piece, yep, so tiny piece of a substance, a speck. That's what I was talking about. They're like tiny little EXP lights. I like them. Hey, right, we got another level up. Let's get rid of these guys quickly. Okay, we get eight points. I'm just gonna go ahead and level up again. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and get our axe leveled up as fast as we can. We'll also get the Blaze of Doom, which is basically Bran, who apparently is a fire that randomly burns shit. So that's very good. Okay, we got that. Um, do I not have 15 gold? I'm sorry, I have no idea how much gold I have. I don't think that's gold, that's like skill points. Isn't it? I don't see, like, a gold... Oh, there is a gold option. Hold on. I'll have to go get gold. Gold? Where do I find gold? Uh, I don't quite remember. I think I got gold when I tested this in the crates. Yeah, but there's no gold this time. I'm poor. That's what you get for not having enough... Oh my god, I got a chest. Cool. What do you get from there? Oh, you get, like, weapon upgrades. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade the damage because that is gonna be necessary to get rid of a lot of these guys pretty quickly. Yep, thank you. I'm kind of stuck in between all of these guys. I just want to get all this EXP. There you go. Yeah, we do not have anywhere near enough gold to get that upgrade. Um, I have noticed there are like a lot of upgrade shrines like that around the map. You do have to explore to find them. There you go. Yeah, if it was skill points that had to be sacrificed, I could do the sacrificing. But as it stands, I do not have gold. As a Viking, it's pretty bad, right? If I don't have enough gold? I mean, that's kind of one of the reasons they set out. Another thing you do get in this game is a consumable item, but I've not got any consumables this run to show you guys. I might get lucky going forward, but as it stands, I'm taking a lot of damage. Okay, let me go ahead and level up very quickly. Uh, yep, give me, give me the Berserker Rage. Okay. I'll take attack speed. Yeah, attack speed upgrades are pretty significant. I mean, you start attacking really fast once you get a few upgrades in attack speed. It's pretty it's pretty significant in difference. Actually see yep, there you go. You can see a boss difference. We're just swinging those axes, swinging those blades, just smashing everything left and right. You have exactly two coins after all that of two bloody coins. Oh no, taking way too much damage here. And it's a, a boss has not even spawned yet, that's the worst part. Okay. Yeah, I think I got like literally one heart back, but no gold. I, I just, I came there for the gold and I didn't get anything. Good, another level up. We just have three points. Yeah, that can tell you now that EXP is becoming scarce because I'm not killing fast enough. Oh my god, I'm taking hits! Yeah, I swear to you, my first run went much better. I'm not gonna survive. I'm not gonna survive this. Taking way too much damage. And also, there is a dearth of gold in the game. I'll tell you that. It's not easy to get gold. 
Yep, I'm dead. Got stuck on a rock, that's what happens. Yeah, so that, that is basically the game. That is Nordic Ashes. It's kind of fun. You got a lot of uh, you, you got a lot of RPG elements mixed into the bullet hell genre. Um, you have relics and you have RPG statistics and everything. I like that. I like the I like the mix of RPG elements. I like the difficulty curve of the game. I like the fact that you can pick and choose what skills you want exactly, how much you want to upgrade them by. All of that. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go ahead and play another run. I'm gonna beat Tyra. Uh, because I unlocked her. She apparently is an archer. Let's see how well this goes. That is... That's actually pretty good. Yeah. She shoots... She shoots what? Poison? She moves pretty fast too. Yeah, she is super superior to the other guy. Absolutely. I mean, her arrows have a big oomph back to them, you know? They, they pack a punch. I wonder if there's a simple projectiles upgrade where you can just spam more arrows. Oh, this is interesting. Like, the more enemies you kill in the circle, uh, the more souls will be consumed and the chest will give you rewards for that. Oh, you don't need to be in the circle in order to kill the enemy. It's just very good. That is convenient. Yeah, more arrows. We're down to 60. We have killed 40 enemies so far. Good. Alright, 60 down. Oh, I think our arrows are piercing, actually. That's why we're suddenly adding so many, you know, kills. Oh, she's got very little health. Oh my god, I'm gonna suffer for this. That was a bad idea. It's like a boss demon who has also come to join us. Oh my goodness. They're like Wormantide in 2D. That's what it is. Okay, we got the kills, we got um, the upgrade as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Yeah, attack speed sounds like a good idea. Alright, let's go ahead and allocate some skills very quickly. We got two weapons, one is shooting daggers. Let's go ahead and unlock that, very good. Uh, we get the boat, let's upgrade that. We get attack speed, which is obviously like a big thing for her. Um, there's also an, an eagle who's gonna defend us. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that. We get damage upgrades right there. Uh, poison. Can I actually use that? Like, do I use it, or she uses it on her own? I'm guessing she uses it on her own. Yeah, okay, we're fighting now. Ow! Yeah, I'm definitely gonna die. But I'm gonna give a good performance before I go. <laughs> ah, I died too soon. I died too soon! You can see why I like this game. It is it is honestly a lot of fun. Uh, let's go ahead and run another one with Axeldor.
let's level up quickly. I will take the axe. I almost hit that. Almost hit that mouse. Doing a pretty good job here so far. Uh, we got a relic, which is called an Aegis Helmet. I have no idea why that was unlocked, but it was. I got hit by that guy, and we unlocked it. Alright, well, good for them. Um, we get more um, upgrades right there. Can I get, like, attack speed? Yeah, attack speed is where you see the biggest benefits very quickly. We got a bunch of points. Um, I think we can go ahead and use them. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna upgrade my attack speed because that is singularly the most important thing. Um, yep, let's go upgrade the axe. Taking a lot of hits there. Sword upgrade? Um uh, yeah, I'll take Bran. Bran is Bran is good. The flame of war is very good. big hit. Oh, we get something. We unlock something called the Aegis Helmet. I'm not quite sure whether you can actually change anything. I don't think that's allowed, though. 
Yeah, I don't see that over here at all. Let's try Pyro one more time before we start up. So, like I said, the game's a lot of fun, you know? You got you got lots of stuff to try. It's got a good challenge to it. It's, it's, it is it is pretty damn good. I love the art style. You know, I love the frosty, snowy lands over here as depicted. They're very good. Actually, I was uh, quite lucky to finish uh, the first character's run on my very first run itself. It's just that in this video, I'm doing terribly, apparently. Either that or the game was updated to increase the difficulty curve. Uh, which I can understand. I mean, I did finish it off in my first run, which should not have been possible. But I did. And it is fun, 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 fun. Also, it plays pretty smoothly. Um, the, the characters are moving just as you would expect them to. The monsters are also moving pretty damn well. Although, in real life, if a horde of rats comes after you, uh, don't depend on the rats to move slowly, I'm just saying. We're getting, we're getting them at our own pace, but we are getting them. Okay, we get a bunch of points. Uh, let's go and upgrade as much as we can. Alright, now we should be attacking a lot faster. Oh yeah, we are. Look at that attack speed upgrade. That's pretty awesome. We're not we're not inflicting anywhere near the amount of damage we need to inflict, but you know what? We are clearing them out, and that's what we need to be doing. Yeah, we got our health back, which is good. Oh, wow. I didn't get hit there. How did I not get hit there? That monster had my number. Okay, 11 points. Let's get some upgrades in. Uh, we'll actually get this Revna thing going. Okay, uh, let's get that going. Let's upgrade the bow. The bow is like the most important thing. Yeah, these monsters are definitely, you know, pretty damn tough. I mean, I'm, I'm shooting them with arrows. I'm pinioning them with arrows, but it is not happening. Pin, 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 pin! Okay, very good. Okay, so far so good. Took my licks there. Okay, 
Okay, let's go back for- Ouch! Yeah, I wanted to go back for the XP, but hey, these guys are tough. I think their HP basically increased on the new spawns. Okay. Why we suddenly leveled up? At some point, there's gonna be a boss incoming. I mean, that does happen. died man i was i was caught between a rock and a hot place there was no way that's gonna work out yeah so that's nordic ashes um my opinion about this game it it runs smooth um the artwork is nice i love the nordic winters i love the character style the monsters are done really really well um i would like more uh selections between weapon types as usual but i love the unique skill tree the way it has been drawn is absolutely beautiful the gameplay is really smooth i enjoyed playing it even both on video and off i've played the game a bit and i do recommend it, it I, I i hope that they keep showing it a lot of love and add more game modes or more waves more monsters maybe more heroes and uh, also include like equipment choices and stuff maybe a storyline it would be an epic game i would say but as it is nordic ashes is pretty good you guys can uh, wishlist the game support the developers try the demo out on steam and if you like this video subscribe to our channel go to cake.early.ninja or patreon page and support us and i'll see you next time my name is Vinus andar this has been andar plays nordic ashes brought to you by razor light entertainment and i will see you next time god bless you all peace